Just know one thing. When everybody walks outside tonight and you look up into the sky, the brightest star will be Pedro Perrito Aguayo. We all remember those adverts which would play alongside our favourite wrestling shows when we were growing up. Don't try this at home. It's not just a simple slogan, but one intended to prevent any real-life tragedy occurring if a person was to replicate the actions they had witnessed from their favourite wrestlers. The moves we see these experts perform in the ring are designed to amaze and entertain us whilst inflicting as little damage as possible to their opponent. However, in 2015, a freak accident occurred when a move was performed, one that had been used hundreds if not thousands of times safely before, and would end the life of a popular luchador known as Perro Aguayo. The son of a Mexican wrestling legend has died after suffering a blow in the ring. I'm Jim Baskin with the latest ESPN headlines. His name is Pedro Aguayo Ramirez. He fell unconscious on the ropes after being kicked by fellow wrestler Oscar Gutierrez, who is known as former WWE star Rey Mysterio Jr. The match actually continued on for some two minutes before those on hand realized that Aguayo had suffered a serious injury. In a match on March 21st, the Mexican grappling star was taking part in a tag team bout alongside his partner Manic against Extreme Tiger and WWE legend Rey Mysterio. With Perro Aguayo and Mysterio in the ring, Mysterio landed a picture-perfect dropkick on his opponent which sent him hurtling towards the ropes, a move which we've seen countless times from Mysterio which, for decades, he has used to place his opponent in the perfect position, slumped over the second rope, facing out of the ring to pull off his famous 619 finisher. However, in this horrific incident, as Perro Aguayo fell towards the ropes, he landed awkwardly and fell unconscious. With the high-paced Lucha Libre match in full flow, Rey Mysterio, the other wrestlers, and even the fans failed to realise that Aguayo was not simply acting as if he had been injured as he slumped on one knee, he had in fact broken his neck. And, and it affects each and every one of us. And uh, last night, we, we lost a brother. The match continued for over two minutes before the proceedings were called to a stop. Before any medical aid could be successful, Perro Aguayo sadly died in the ring of a heart attack caused by a cervical stroke, which occurred when his neck snapped off the middle rope. A truly horrific incident and one which left Mysterio so stricken with guilt he considered never stepping foot inside of a pro wrestling ring ever again. Aguayo's family knew that what had happened was simply a tragic accident and that Mysterio was in no way to blame, even going so far as to ask the masked luchador to help carry the coffin of his deceased opponent at his funeral. Hit show Lucha Underground hosted a somber and respectful tribute to their fallen comrade, with notable figures from the Mexican wrestling scene speaking about how much Perro meant to them, as well as the wider wrestling world. It's clear to see the deep and profound impact that this man's death had on those who were lucky enough to know him in the ring and out. 